So let's go to let's go to Perry. Let's go to Perry. Let me let me break this down real quick. Perry, Perry's lineage was not here as a result of the transatlantic slave trade. It's impossible. All right, it's impossible. Now, regardless to how mad you get, when the AOO lineage was found here, geneticists announced it's the oldest genes on the planet. Then they went to Cameroon and they found AO uh, aspects that did not have the. Uh, well, let me let me let me slow myself down. I don't want to give away all my juice. But I'm about to give away this one because this is online, all right? So we have something in genetics called the most recent common ancestor, right? And so that means that if you find two people, we can follow your genetics to the common ancestor that your haplogroups and uh, matrilineal and patrilineal we have, we can trace it, right? But in the future, we're gonna deal with genetics different and I'll get to that part now because there's a lot that they don't know. So let's say you have two brothers, right? Who is the most recent common ancestor for both of those brothers? Their father, right? You can stop it, trace it right to their father. So if you got a brother, y'all most recent common ancestor is your father. Gotcha? Okay. So let's say you have two males born from two brothers. That means that they're cousins. We call that first cousins. All right? So if you have first cousins, who is their most recent common ancestor? The most recent common ancestor is not uh, their fathers because their fathers are both their uncles. The most recent common ancestor is their grandfather. So now you got three generations because you're dealing with first cousins, right? Then you can go to second cousins, right? Then you gotta go to the great grandfather. Then you go, so you follow me? You understand what, what most recent common ancestor means genetically? It's the progenitor that gives rise to a lineage and then the branches of that lineage. All right? All right? And so look, when we start looking for Perry, Perry's Y chromosome, I'm about to show you who Perry is for those of you who don't know. We start looking for his most recent common ancestor, if he was here as a result of the transatlantic slave trade, we could trace that lineage back and date the timing system back to probably within a 600 to 400 year period. Let's say that because it's 2000 something now, right? If we trace the lineage is back because they still, that line is still producing sons. <clears throat> but if we were to trace that back, we could trace it back to a time where they had a common progenitor if he was from Cameroon during the slave trade. All right? And so check this out. Let's go to the actual studies produced by geneticists to see when Perry's Y chromosome had a most recent common ancestor to somebody from Africa. And when we look at the date, the timing system is going to knock all of these people who've been commenting on this out of the box. All right. And this is not uh, to denigrate or separate any of the world's Aboriginal people. It is to clarify proper reconstruction of history. We killed the argument that Africans and Americans weren't going back across the Atlantic last week. You could go all the way back to Dr. Ivan Van Sertima's work and look at his work uh, in talking about the cotton 
and the jack bean and the bottle board and all of that, it would be impossible for those things to float across oceans and do the things that they were doing. So that, that argument about whether we moved across the Atlantic in pre-Columbian times is dead. It's a dead argument. Only dummies make the argument that nobody was moving back and forth prior to we're here as a result of the slave trade and we're Africans. Like, that's a dead argument. First of all, we never called ourselves African. White people called us that. So now you're something that an uh, invader calls you. You see what I'm saying? Like, you just, let's stop that. Now let's go to the actual, let's go to the actual study. An African American paternal lineage as an extremely ancient root to the human Y chromosome phylogenetic tree. Not Ali, we report the discovery of an African American Y chromosome that carries the ancestral state of all SNPs that define the basal portion of the Y chromosome phylogenetic tree. We sequenced 240 kilobytes of this chromosome to identify private derived mutations on this lineage, which we named AOO. All right, I'm gonna read. I'm not gonna read all this section, because this gives more about short tandem repeats on the Y chromosome and the differences amongst the group that we're discussing, the AOO. But look, using the joint likelihood for the split of the two lineages and a sub-lineage internal to one of them, we estimated that the most recent common ancestor of the African American and the Cameroonian AO chromosomes live between 2.6 and 73,000 years ago. Stop. Stop. Now, why that time period? Why the split during that time period? I didn't say it. Who 2,000 years ago would have split from the Cameroonian lineage if they were in Cameroon and developed this particular lineage? Or all the way back to 70,000. You know how much time that is, bro? That's 71,000 years. That's not 500 years ago, bro. That's not 400 years ago. That's not 300 years ago in the slave trade. The Perry family's chromosome is split from the Cameroonian chromosome thousands of years ago. Likelihood estimate 17,000 years ago. 17,000 years ago. Can you read that? Can you read that? <laughs> Can you read it? All right, so look. Check this out. We, <laughs> we as a people, need institutions so that we can explain things properly. Science will not back your ideological beliefs. So if they're estimating that the lineage is split 17,000 years ago, right, why are they reporting 500 years? Why are they saying, oh, well, Perry Samley had to come here from Cameroon during the slave trade, okay? That's not what these geneticists are saying. So you have to explain. You know, matter of fact, you don't have to explain nothing. We don't want y'all to explain nothing. We just want y'all to be quiet. 